So in this video, I'm going to be recycling some bed frames using the steel angle iron from the bed frames and making a rolling rack to support the inverter, charge controller, and battery for the solar off-grid workshop project. You can see I've got kind of a pile here. I think I got about 10 of these for free off of the uh, marketplace. People are throwing these away all the time. Some people try to sell them, but uh, a lot of people just want to get rid of them. And I picked up a pile of them for free. In order to use them, you got to grind out these rivets and take it apart, punch that, punch that out, clean them up. So there's a little bit of work involved in prepping them. But when you're done with it, and at the prices of steel these days, it could be worth the effort. And uh, that's what I've decided to do. So I'm going to take these apart, see if I can accumulate enough angle iron in order to make this portable solar rolling solar rack for my uh, DIY off-grid workshop. This is the mount for the wheels. I've got the wheels for these as well. And I'm going to cut this off and fabricate it so that I can mount that on the on the bottom of the rack and use the, the wheels that came with the bed frames to make a rolling rack. So let's get to it. So I'm going to use my uh, angle grinder here. This is a four and a half inch with a uh, my favorite benchmark abrasives flap discs. You can use whatever grit you want. This happens to be a 40 grit, four and a half inch. And we'll use that to grind those rivets on the uh, bed frame so we can punch them out and then take them apart. I'll leave links for these flap discs in the description for those of you who are interested in them. They've worked out well for me and uh, they're affordable. I really like them. I can't get the flap disc into that corner to get to that rivet. So I'm going to take the uh, Benchmark Abrasives cutoff wheel, and these are awesome. Uh, again, I'll leave links in the description, but I'm going to put that on the angle grinder, cut this edge off of here so I can get in there with the flap disc to get to that rivet. This is probably five or six bed frames. I got all kinds of pieces of angle iron, several different sizes. Looks like maybe one inch to two inch, something like that. But that's a lot of steel from some old bed frames. If you recycle the bed frames and then you got all these extra pieces. Now these can either go into a box and take them to the scrap bin and get credit for them for the weight. What I like to do is I'll take them and use them for test test pieces to get my uh, weld settings for welding that together and then I know exactly where to set my welder and all I used was a benchmark abrasive cutoff wheel and then a benchmark abrasive flap disc just those two pieces and there's a lot of life left in both of them I can do a lot more bunch of little scrap rivets and pieces all right let's go make something Okay, these are all the pieces of recycled bed frame angle iron that I'm going to need for the project. I went through and used a square and a paint pen to uh, mark off all of the 
lengths of the separate pieces that I'm going to need. And then I'll take the angle grinder and the four and a half inch benchmark abrasive premium cutoff wheel goes through this this uh, bed frame angle iron like butter and I'll cut these all to length and then use the uh, benchmark abrasive flat disc to just clean up the edges and get rid of the paint where I'm going to be performing the welds to uh, assemble this this uh, solar cart So as you can see, this is how the framework came up, came out once I got it all welded together. Basically, I just made two trays with some of these smaller angle iron off the recycled bed frames, and then four corner posts, and welded the the shelf frame to the corner posts. These are I'll put all the dimensions in the uh, description if you're interested in checking that out, but. These were 18 inches and these were about 35 inches because I'm going to put a board across the top here and make make kind of a back shelf to this thing. Then I've got the casters on the bottom and I'll show you a, a close-up of how I did that. And basically I just took one of the stock ones that came off the bed frames, the recycled bed frames, and cut it down so it's not so far away from the corner, it's not so big and then just welded it to the frame stuck my caster wheels in there and uh, these have a little plastic insert this is this one's missing plastic insert that the caster wheel pops into and I just took a pair of pliers and pulled that out to weld it up so I didn't melt it stuck it back in there popped the wheel in and did that on all four corners and uh, and it came out really good I mean these wheels are kinda old and crummy but they're going to be fine for this little cart. So the inverter is going to go on the top shelf and whatever else I can think of on the boards that I mount on the back where I'm going to put the uh, charge controller. And then the batteries will be on this bottom shelf. And I just kind of made this little tray and that's going to hold the batteries. And I could put four of those uh, 280 amp per hour LifePool 4 batteries in here or even four lead acid batteries. And then for the top of it, the shelf fits right in there. I'll put some paint on that and make it look a little bit better, but it's just a utility shelf basically anyway, so it'll work out just fine. And this was made out of 100% recycled materials or leftover materials from previous projects. The cost was virtually zero. It just cost me my time. Check out the uh, link in the description. I'll put a link to the build video of this uh, DIY off-grid workshop where I'm going to be using this for all of my solar equipment. And uh, you can follow along on that build if you're interested in that. And I may have paint this up and make it look a little bit nicer. And I may not. We'll see what happens. Click the video on the screen for the next DIY off-grid workshop build video and we'll see you over there.